Alright, so in today's video, we are going to be doing another reaction video. We haven't reacted to like just somebody off the top leaderboard in a while. It's been more specific people. So I figured why not look at the number one Xbox champion, like straight up. Who's number one? I don't care how good he is, what he is. Let's see what he's doing. And let's see if he's master keyboard or legit. So his name is Fosted, Frosted, Fosted. I don't know what the V is supposed to mean. Maybe an O for Fosted. I don't know. But this is number two, but he's actually number two technically probably because the PlayStation champ is number one and they're linked together, but he's the number one Xbox champ. And he has a KD of a 1.54, which is actually pretty low, but it's not low, if that makes any sense. A lot of people's KDs are boosted these days or highly inflated, um, either due to rank 2.0 or people KD boosting. So this seems good. This seems very good so far. It's not like it's some MK player so far. It doesn't start off, okay? He's had this over the past couple seasons, 1.49, 1.52, 1.54. 1 so it, it's, no, it's no crazy jump, crazy jump. Let's, let's just see how he is. Let's see if he's good. This is looking good so far. And let's see if he's legit or how he is. All right, what do we work with here? We got a Legion clip to start us off. Yana is cooked. Good recoil. I mean, it's a T5, but still. Going to 1v3. Let that man up. Bro, I haven't seen somebody play Legion in so long. Legion is so good. Damn, bro, how do you know he was there? Did he have, is there Val cam? Maybe Mozzie cams? Or maybe he just knew he was there and he just doing impact of that motherfucker, bro. He just cooked that kid. Good pre-fire. He's looking controller so far. Like, like, so far we're starting off good. Hopefully he doesn't troll us. Good pre-fires. Smart pre-fires. That's really smart. That's the type, oh damn, he's about a fries kid. Oh, he actually is. Wow, I just was trolling. This is the type of pre-fires that I always said people, people always ask me like, like, I always tell people to pre-fire and they're like, well, what should I pre-fire? Like, you have to think about this, okay? Real quick, I'm gonna break down what he did really well, right? So he, he misses his shots or he hits some of his shots, right? And he comes over here to kind of recollect himself, see if somebody's to his left, kind of get his positioning, figure out what he's doing, right? And he's holding this angle right here. Now, from here, you can tell that nobody is pushing this angle because he holds it for a decent amount of time. So the only other spot that somebody would be holding on a realistic standpoint would be right here where he pre-fires, right? The guy was not there yet. But he was going there, as you can see, it was a good pre-fire. So, you know, like when you pre-fire stuff, just think if you were in that situation and you were holding or you were holding an angle on this lesion, like where would you be? What is a, what is a good spot to be? That's probably where they are. And he, he does that very well. And then that's when he, he goes over there and he kill, kills him. Damn, wait, what? Where was his buck? Oh, you can't even see him. Bro just shot bro just shot him through the wall. That's a crazy shot. Got an ash clip. Okay. Off the rip, right into it. What is the ash charm on too? That's a what is that thorn trap? Well Loki, this sight on Ash looks beautiful. Good recoil. He's really good recoil control. Got the EG skin on. Oh, the people that are like flashy like this with their aim, with their like leaning, it's, it, look, it looks crazy. They, they have no rotate. Hey, I'm blind. Is that a rotate to the left? Maybe it is. Or maybe this, these people are just brain dead, bro. Oh, he hit him. They're just swinging this guy. They're all just running at this guy. His positioning is very good, though, the way he's taking gunfights. Like, I don't think I'm just going to break it down because I want to actually show, like, when you look at somebody at a higher level caliber, if you can break down their gameplay, it's ways that you can actually improve. Like, what he does so well is his, like, one-on-one -on -one gunfights and his positioning, right? The way he's focusing on gunfights, right? Like, we notice he, he knows somebody's over here from earlier when he's shooting over here, right? And he is assuming somebody's in the other bomb site, right? So he clears out the close left. He shoots him now immediately he swings to this because think about it in a situation if you hear your teammate shooting at someone and you're across from them you're probably going to swing to act off it immediately he continues to move forward instead of standing there and just looking like it's not like he just was shooting him looked to the left no he moved forward which was really well because he completely got his vision away from the guy in the room to the right so he was able to take his one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one gunfight and then flick back over here and take his ones like, his positioning is really, really good for his gunfights. Like, it's not even like he has, like, the craziest, like, 
like flicking left and right. Like no, he just his positioning is just getting him really well. And here's another clip that looks like we're gonna be looking at good positioning here. Which you would be surprised how many people don't drone this area out. It sounds so stupid. You're like, what are you saying? Like, no. The amount of times that I've gotten kills hiding in that close left. Okay. Corner is nuts. Oh my god. See the guy on the... I don't know what their drones are doing, but... He has really good recoil control. For constantly shooting that. And he just fried all three of those kids, bro. That kid... On the fucking repel, actually got cooked. Holy shit. Your souls is so good. Like, you're able to do all that and then whip out an SMG 11. It's actually insane. Like, it's actually insane that that's her kit. And she has two impacts. Like, you could literally spray down a whole fucking group of people, run out of ammo, and switch to this gun. Like, Solus is just so good. That's a disgusting clip, though. Oh, that was it? Either way, it's good. Oh, lord. We've got a Glaz clip here. I haven't seen a glass clip in 10 years. This is disgusting. Okay. This is a disgusting strat that you can actually do on so many different bomb sites and so many different sites. And I advise that you do it. You will actually get free kills. Literally bringing a Maverick and a glass is broken. It's disgusting. Like, you can do it on, like, Chalet. You could do it on even Bank. Put it on the back of the wall. Like, you could, bro. There's so many different sides and sites that you could, you could really do it on almost any site. And it's really good, especially in situations like this. When nobody could flank you or anything because you're outside already. You know what I mean? So it works really well for outside walls that are completely outside. It's actually disgusting. It's actually gross. Like, trying to contest that is horrific. It's a nice little setup we got going. Is that a mirror? It's a nice little setup we got. Wait, is there a mirror on that corner? No, it's not a mirror over there. There's a mirror on the far left wall on B wall. And it looks like they have a zombie to block the window. What is going on right here? Hold on. What is this? Bullet hole, bullet hole. Oh, this actually seems pretty smart, but I, I guess that's to contest terrace. Oh, the elk. Hold on. This is disgusting. No, this is actually disgusting. If somebody does this to me, I'm actually going to be tight as fuck. Like, bro, I, I might steal this. I won't lie to you. I actually might have to steal this. This is disgusting. So you have these bottom ones, in the like right here, that allow you to... Play right here completely safe with a rotate right here, which is really nice. I like this rotate here. Be able to peek off of it, throw C4s over it, and then be able to come back over here and contest this. What? Damn! Holy shit! Was he even? Did he even know he was there? Did you just shoot? You got one bullet. That, that's just. I'd be so tight if I died that shit, bro. On three, four OT as well. A jackal clip. This is the worst map in the game. Ban this map. Oh my god. I got shit on. Who is this? Who actually got shit on? Who was that? How do you lose this gunfight? That, that was an Oryx? Bro's probably crying without his T5. Bro's trying to shoot with a one-time scope and is losing his mind. Holy. There's no way. I just shocked he actually was able to turn around and get that kill. That quickly. That's crazy. So do you guys think this guy's mouse and keyboard, do you think he's legit? He looks pretty smooth, like he does, like... I feel like his recoil control is good, it's very good. Like, especially on Ash, his recoil control looks crazy. His movement is really good too, you see the way he's able to flick left and right? He has very good control over his, like, movement. But I think the biggest thing with him is his positioning, like, from what I've noticed. It, like, he has a 1.54 KD, which is good, but when you look at some of the other top champions, you're gonna see all of them with, like, 2 KDs. 1.8, 2.1s, but like a one, a legit 1.54 in my opinion is better than somebody who's just fucking leaving the game when they die or playing in lower lobbies. Like I feel like this literally looks like a legit player who is able to have much better positioning over somebody and has very smart positioning over somebody. And I feel like that's what he's doing. He's checking all of his corners. He's like moving where the enemy is not to take other gunfights. Like it's it, he's very very smart. I feel like you can learn a lot from watching people that are at the top level from stuff like this You just have to break down what they're doing and I feel like you could definitely understand why he would be a number one champion if that makes any sense And he has very good utility usage too. That's the highest That's a huge thing that a lot of people struggle with is their actual utility usage And you see that earlier on in this clip like who is throwing a fucking impact in this corner if, if my silver teammate or even my champion teammate would probably try and swing this guy Instead of trying to impact him. So, 
he th I'm, I'm assuming he didn't think he would kill him, or maybe he didn't know he would kill him, but he throws it, one, to confuse the fuck out of this guy, and two, weaken him, or three, kill him, because he lights him up earlier on over here. When he hops in initially, he lights this guy the fuck up. But the, the, like, the thought to just do that and use all of your utility is something that is really, really good. And I think even earlier on in the round, we see him throwing, yeah, we see him throwing his Legion Mines, even in a 2v3, uh, right? So always remembering to use utility is something that is huge that I feel like a lot of people struggle with too. Like I'll see clips of people and they'll have like all their fucking impacts, all of their, you know, lesions or all of their wamais or whatever it may be. They have all the utility and they're just never using it. Like all their grenades at the end of the round. Like how do you attack and not use your grenades? Like the utility usage is so important in this game. And that's why you see people like this guy succeed and do better. But this guy is solid. And like I said, his pre-fire knowledge is, is very good. He got, he got a pre-fire off this. And then he got a pre-fire of this, like, and earlier on, on the zombie clip as well, when he just fucking randomly one-tapped the guy through a fucking, where is it? Right here. He randomly one-taps the guy through a, like, why, there's no need to shoot there. He's just shooting to shoot. He's insane. He's nuts. He's a very, very smart player. Let me know what you guys think, though. Do you think that this guy is legit, or do you think he's mouse and keyboard? Mouse and keyboard aside, if he is, I don't, I don't think he is, but if he is, like, he's just a very smart player with very good positioning. I'm just going to say that, but let me know what you think. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to follow. I will see y'all. Have a great day. Sorry for the lack of uploads. I'll have more coming soon. I've been grinding my TikTok four times a day. Make sure you go check it out. I focused so much on that recently, but I'll be back to the YouTube grind even more very soon. I love you. Peace.